Hi there my outdoor friends, welcome back to the channel and for you who are new here to the channel I'm Matthias and I do a lot of stuff on the channel, ADV riding, van life, outdoor stuff, cooking etc. This video will be about the Amok Draumer 5.0 and the Amok Draumer Ultralight and uh, which one to choose and what I prefer in different situations and it will also be a giveaway on this video I will just tell you in the end uh, how you apply to this giveaway right so this is the difference in packaging a normal Amok Draumer from Amok Equipment uh, this is a, the sleeping mattress a tarp and the actual hammock and this is the Amok Draumer ultralight hammock sleeping mattress and the tarp all ultralight uh, these two are in the XL version a little bit larger than the standard because my length require that uh, but let's dig into this I will set up the hammocks and uh, I will show you the differences and, and what is best for you you may figure that out and get a better idea so you see the difference in packing volume. These are not compressed uh, to the maximum. It's just packed together. In this giveaway, it's either a complete set of a standard Amok Draumer 5.0 or a Amok Draumer Ultralight set. Complete for you out there. Isn't that great? And this is a collab, of course, with the Amok equipment who design and make these hammocks. I'm very grateful for that. I have been an ambassador for Amok equipment for uh, several years and I've used this equipment for several years so I know what I'm talking about when I use them and so on and you can see in my videos that that's the case. Uh, you can also see a comparison in the kits and how, how I like to optimize them in another video. I will put that video link up in the corner. So both these hammocks from uh, Amok Equipment are set up. The Amok Draumer 5.0, the Amok Draumer Ultralight. These are two excellent hammocks and uh, I have chosen to use the hammock instead of tent mostly of the times the last years. I would say like 95% of all camping. And this is due to our forest landscape here in Scandinavia it's very suitable to have a hammock you have trees almost everywhere in our boreal landscapes but uh, not all the time leveled ground or it could be like here it's stones and very uneven you couldn't really put up a tent on this spot actually and be comfortable i will say not at all you will find another spot but you can sleep in a hammock here and it's a great view that's pretty much why i use it uh, instead of a tent uh, to these hammocks there are a tarp i won't set up this here uh, because i want you to see the actual hammocks and the differences uh, the tarps aren't very different a little bit more lightweight and thinner material on the ultralight but you can look at the video again that I put up in the corner or in the link below as well if you want to see how the packs and so on and, and looks <laughs> wow this is beautiful wish you could see there there are goose coming from Lapland in the Swedish Lapland <laughs> traveling south and I also have a squirrel up there that are throwing some pine cones uh, seeds on my hammocks actually, really fun. Why I'm doing this giveaway in the end, this is because it's you out there, the viewers that interact with me and make this possible. 
I have not been an ambassador or collaborator with Amok Equipment if it wasn't for you, actually, or my own liking of this Hammock system. So that is what I want to give something back to you. So the difference is, is in material and weight and also packing volume. That's how this differs. You have all the same functionalities in these two hammocks. The suspension of these hammocks looks the same. It's the same principle, the only details that differs. Uh, it's a little bit thinner suspension on the ultralight than on this uh, normal hammock. The hookup system where you lock up the hammock to the suspension is the same principle but it differs. It, both in material, aluminum, steel and how they look. You also in both hammocks have this colorized system for uh, green and red for right and left side so you know where you have your view so you can choose that from the beginning and not be surprised when you hang up the hammock uh, this color system is on both but they look different uh, all other functionalities on these hammocks uh, like the pockets uh, the bottle pocket the shoe pockets the bug net Everything has the same functionality. It's only the material that differs. Uh, not for the bug net that are actually the same on these two. Same design as well. Another difference is uh, uh, the pocket for the mattress itself. On this one it has a zipper. On the ultralight it has no zipper, just a fold over like you have on your cover for pillows. You also have the functionalities to uh, make this uh, in a shape like a chair or sofa is on both of these hammocks. So you have the exactly same functions on these two hammocks. So how to choose is not the functionality in that way. When I'm speaking about this is about my experience from several years. I have actually also have seen this hammock one year before it was released and tried it out uh, in the pre-design and actually had some influences in how this was made. So I have used these hammocks for, for some time. I have both backpacking with them and also motorcycle camping with them. So how will I put this how you should choose between the ultralight and the normal Amok Drauma hammocks? Uh, difference in volume. So if you have uh, difficulties with volume and that is priority, I would choose the ultralight. If weight is the issue, if you're a backpacker and you're a three-season camper, I will choose the ultralight. I could, I could give you the spec in the description, but it differs around one kilo for the sets. You can get an ultralight set under two kilos with a mattress, tarp and hammock. This kit is slightly heavier, about one kilo heavier uh, altogether. That could be important for a backpacker. If you're a motorcycle traveler like myself, uh, packing volume may not be as important as at least my experience. I have actually a combination. I have the ultralight uh, mattress combined with the normal hammock most often. What do I think about these two after some years of, of use? One thing that I was a little bit worried about is the, how sturdy the ultralight was compared to the normal hammock that I used a lot more. So I used it, I used the ultralight for one year for all hammock camping to just uh, figure it out. I used it summertime uh, and uh, three season and at, as well in winter time. When you lay in them, you can feel a little bit more <coughs> stiffness in this, in this one. It feels more robust due to this uh, tougher material. This material in the ultralight that you, it, it forms a little bit more when you lay in it, so it doesn't feel really as sturdy, but it has still the shape and you can still sleep in all directions. Like on the, if you like to sleep on the side or on your stomach and so on, or on your back, of course. So with the ultralight, some say that the material lets in air and that could be a problem when it's high winds or when it's cold and as well high winds, so it cool off you a little bit. And that's why we used to say that the 5.0 is more a four season hammock than the ultralight it's more suitable for three seas. However, 
I have used them, both of them all seasons, and I have not really had the problem, even if it's windy, because I have an extreme winter sleeping bag at autumn and early spring and on the winter. So I'm very embedded in that. And from the ground, you don't have any cooling effect because of these mattresses have very good insulation, both the ultralight and the winter light that I have in this one. So to me, it has not really been a problem with that. It should be windy or colder in it. Another cool feature that I didn't think of uh, before I tried the ultralight is that you see through the material. So when you wake up like this with a beautiful lake around you and you see the sunrise and so on through the material, I think that is really, really a nice feature that I really appreciate with the ultralight. This one, you are more enclosed, which could be nice as well when you're sleeping at a camping spot. There are other people and so on. You could feel more private. As well, the bug net is very good to feel more privacy, even if it's not bugs. It also protects from wind, the bug net. It's great to use. So that's a little bit how to think when you choose between these two. So I would say volume weight talks for the ultralight and the see through effect. The robustness and if you don't need to prioritize the one kilo difference, Draumer 5.0 is a better choice. And this is up to you. Uh, you could actually win this giveaway and you will choose which one you like. So what I want you to do is to hit the subscribe button and put in a comment below. And you could also write what you think about these hammocks and which one you would choose if you won the giveaway and why. You don't have to stick to it if you are the winner. I will reach out to the winner when I have done this lottery thing and, and you can tell which one you would like. And this will be sent directly to you from Amok Equipment. Please have a look at the other videos I have out there and if you will stay as a subscriber that would be great if you like the content and so on. Alright, so that's pretty much it to sum up this video. As a bonus material I will jump into this hammock and show you how I get into the hammock in a simple way. Uh, I think with a sleeping bag as well, yeah? You see this ridge line? That is actually under that where you will have your, uh, your balance point pretty much. So I put in a hand up here to press it down and then I get in. Like this, I get in from the side push my hand down and I also used to grab on that side to just get in like this and it's totally undramatic as you see. Really nice and easy. And I also have this as I said just if I want to sit here and chill look at the view and that's a function that we have in both of them. Sometimes I get questions how you get into the sleeping bag and I, what I do is I actually open it up like that. I could actually leave some of the zipper unzipped and I just put it into the hammock like this <coughs> and I do the same uh, as I showed you before. I just get in from the side and I put in my hand here and that locks the the sleeping bag in this position, okay? So, easy like that. So now, when I sit in the sleeping bag like I do right now, I just put in my feet like this. Now I have the boots and <laughs> everything really stupid, but I do like this. And now I'm pretty much in the bag and could just close it. I also have the the upper part of the sleeping bag behind me here. So it's very easy to adjust that to get into it. Uh, just to show you, you have the same function in, the, in this hammock as well. So I can just sit there and chill.
Well, let's see if I have the skills to get in here without spilling this hot coffee on me. It's still really, really hot. Well, let's see if we could get in here without spilling this hot coffee. Do the trick again with my hand. So I get my ass into the... <laughs> Ooh, I think I actually made it. Ha! Ooh. Maybe I could even do like this, I could chill as well. Oh my god, yes. Whoa. Wonderful. All right, so this was it. Hit the subscribe, comment below on which one you like and why, and you're into the draw. To win a new Amok Draumer set, which one you like of them. This is wonderful. So I see you again out there, my outdoor friends. There will be many more videos. Ciao. Ooh.